In this guide, I'll show you how to set any song as an iPhone ringtone for free and you don't need a computer. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to the App Store and in the search bar at the top, you want to type in Garage and select Garage Band. Now this is a free app which you can download. It's right here. So go ahead and do that. And then you want to open up the app. Now the first time you use the app, you will be prompted to allow microphone access and you want to do that. And then once you're on this page, you want to swipe on over until you get to the audio recorder and you want to tap on it. Now, once you're here, you should see at the top where the red circle is, there'll be a metronome, which is currently blue. So you want to tap on that to turn it off. Then what you want to do is tap on the settings cogwheel in the top right corner. And from here, you want to select metronome and count in at the top. Now, by default, count in will be turned on. So you want to make sure that's toggled off. And then you can press done in the top right corner. Now, if you see where that little plus sign is at the end on the right, what you want to do is tap on it. And then you want to go to section A and automatic will be turned on by default. What you want to do is toggle that off and under manual, you want to increase the value to around 30 or 40. This is essentially how long your ringtone is actually going to be. So you can always adjust it here. Then what you want to do is press done in the top right corner. And when it comes to actually recording the sound, what you want to do is play the music through your speakers on your TV or through a different device. And you want to try and be as quiet as possible while pointing your iPhone at that sound source. Then what you want to do is press the record icon at the top where the red circle is, and then it'll begin recording. Now, once it's finished recording your custom ringtone, what you want to do is press the square button at the top, which is pause. And then what you want to do is select the drop down arrow in the top left corner and go to my songs. Then once your song is finished rendering, what you want to do is tap and hold on it and you'll get these options. And you want to scroll down here until you get to share. So tap on that. And then you'll be given these three different options and you want to tap on ringtone. Then you want to give your ringtone a name. And once you've done that, you want to press export in the top right corner. Then it'll begin exporting as a ringtone. Then it should say ringtone export successful. So you want to press OK. And then you can go to your home screen. Now to set the custom ringtone, what you want to do is go to settings and then you want to scroll down on this page and you want to select sounds and haptics. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, this is where you're going to see your current ringtone. So you want to tap on it. Then if you scroll down, this is where you're going to see all of your ringtones as well as the one we just made. So all you have to do is tap on it and then you can go back and you now have that new ringtone. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.